Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to use oxidation number in equations to show which chemicals are oxidised and which are reduced. In a previous video we saw the rules for assigning oxidation numbers. If you haven't seen this video then you need to watch it now. I'm showing you here a chemical equation. This shows magnesium reacting with chlorine to form magnesium chloride. Now we can use oxidation numbers to work out which chemical is oxidised and which chemical is reduced. First, we need to assign oxidation numbers to all of the atoms in the equation. On the left hand side, we've got magnesium and we have chlorine. These are both uncombined elements, so these have an oxidation number of zero. On the right hand side, the magnesium and chlorine have reacted to form magnesium chloride. Like all group 2 elements, when magnesium reacts, it has an oxidation number of plus 2. Chlorine has an oxidation number of minus 1. Now you'll notice something here. Magnesium chloride contains two atoms of chlorine. However, we always write the oxidation number for one atom, no matter how many atoms there are. Looking at the magnesium, we can see that its oxidation number has increased from 0 to plus 2. When the oxidation number increases, this shows that oxidation has taken place. Looking at the chlorine, we can see that its oxidation number has decreased from 0 to minus 1. When the oxidation number decreases, this shows that reduction has taken place. So as you can see, we can use oxidation numbers to show oxidation and reduction. Here's an example for you to try. This shows iron reacting with dilute hydrochloric acid to form iron chloride and hydrogen. I'd like you to use oxidation numbers to show oxidation and reduction. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, first we have to identify the uncombined elements. On the left hand side we've got iron and on the right hand side we've got hydrogen. These are both uncombined elements, so they've got an oxidation number of zero. On the right hand side the iron has reacted to form iron chloride. Now we can work out the oxidation number of the iron in this compound by using the rules we saw before. Chlorine has an oxidation number of minus 1 and there are two chlorines. Therefore the total oxidation number of these two chlorines is minus 2. As you can see the iron chloride has an overall charge of 0. This means that the oxidation number of the iron is plus 2. On the left hand side we've got hydrochloric acid. As we've seen before the oxidation number of the hydrogen is plus 1. And remember that even though we've got two molecules of hydrochloric acid we only consider the oxidation number of a single atom of hydrogen. So in this reaction we can see that the oxidation number of the iron has increased from 0 to plus 2. This means that the iron has been oxidised. The oxidation number of the hydrogen has decreased from plus 1 to 0 and this means that the hydrogen has been reduced. Now if you look closely you can see that the changes in oxidation numbers are balanced. The iron increases from 0 to plus 2 and the two hydrogens each decrease from plus 1 to 0. You'll notice that the oxidation number of the chlorine is minus 1 on both the right and left hand sides. Because its oxidation number has not changed, this shows that the chlorine is a spectator ion. OK, here's another example for you to try. This shows aluminium reacting with dilute sulfuric acid. Again, I'd like to use oxidation numbers to show oxidation and reduction. Now I should point out that this can look a bit tricky, and that's because of the sulfate ion, which I'm showing you here. However, looking at the equation, we can see that the sulfate ion does not change from the left hand side to the right hand side. So you can assume that the oxidation numbers of the sulfur and oxygen are not changing in this reaction. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, both aluminium and hydrogen are elements, so they've got an oxidation number of zero. The oxidation number of hydrogen in the sulfuric acid is plus one and the oxidation number of the aluminium in aluminium sulphate is plus 3. As you can see, the oxidation number of the aluminium has increased from 0 to plus 3, so the aluminium has been oxidised. The oxidation number of the hydrogen has decreased from plus 1 to 0, so the hydrogen has been reduced. And again, we can see that the changes in oxidation number are balanced. The two aluminiums have each increased from 0 to plus 3, and the six hydrogens have each decreased from plus 1 to 0. OK, so hopefully now you can use oxidation numbers to show oxidation and reduction in chemical reactions.